when people get married because they think it's a long time love affair, they'll be divorced very soon, because all love affairs end in disappointment. But marriage is a recognition of a spiritual identity. What each must seek in his life never was on land or sea. It is something out of his own unique potentiality for experience, something that never has been and never could have been experienced by anyone else. If you follow your happiness, you put yourself on the sort of path that has been there all along, waiting for you, and the life you should be living is the life you are living. Follow your happiness and don't be afraid, and doors will open where you didn't know they would be. People say that what we are all looking for is the meaning of life. I don't think that's what we're really looking for. I think what we are looking for is life experience, so that our life experience in the pure physical realm will have resonance with our own deepest being and reality, so that we truly feel the joy of life. Sitting in a room and reading, and reading and reading, and reading the right books by the right people. Your mind is brought up to that level, and you have a pleasant, light, slow-burning excitement all the time. Life is like arriving late for a movie, having to figure out what's going on without bothering everyone with a bunch of questions, and then suddenly being called away before you know how it ends. Half the world's people think that the metaphors of their religious traditions, for example, are facts. And the other half argues that it is not a fact at all. As a result we have people who consider themselves believers because they accept metaphors as fact, and we have others who classify themselves as atheists because they think religious metaphors are lies. A bit of advice given to a young Native American at initiation, when you walk the road of life, you will see a deep ravine. Jump. It's not as wide as you think. When you go through life, following your own path, the birds will soil you. Don't bother brushing it. Getting a humorous view of your situation gives you spiritual distance. Having a sense of humor saves you. Nietzsche was the one who did the work for me. At a certain moment in his life, the idea came up of what he called your predestined love. Whatever your destiny, no matter what happened, you said, this is what I need, this it may look like an accident, but act on it as if it were an opportunity, a challenge. If you take love in the moment, not despair, you will find strength there. Any disaster you can survive is an increase in your character, your stature, and your life. What a privilege. This is where the spontaneity of your own nature will have a chance to flow.